What's up everyone, Chris M. Walker, CEO of Legit.com here, and I really wish I wasn't making today's video, but there's something that's going on that I think that anyone that owns a website needs to be aware of so they don't end up facing some bad consequences, and that is some exploits I've been seeing recently with Google Search Console. Now, Google Search Console is a tool that Google provides to anybody with a website that gives them various different tools and monitoring and data and some other things to help them potentially grow their website in search, in search engines. So, unfortunately, what I've been seeing lately, though, are some not so great people exploiting that and hacking those accounts on other people's websites and doing different things that can cause them harm. So I'm going to show you really quick what I've seen so far. And these are probably, unfortunately, not the only potential exploits, but I want you to at least be aware of these and some minor things you can do to kind of get around them or make sure they don't happen to you. So I'm going to go into my computer here and show you the ones that we have seen or where you can look for the ones that we've seen and then talk a little bit about what you can do to prevent them. So hopefully this doesn't happen to you or if it does, you'll at least be able to be aware of it and fix it as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, so this is Google Search Console. If you're not aware of how it works or anything like that, just uh, let me know and I'll make another video on how to set it up for your website and maybe I'll do that regardless. But for now, I wanna cover this one thing because it's important and anyway. So basically, once you have your website set up in here, some of the let me show you some of the hacks that I've been seeing happen. Now, somehow or another, someone will get access to your account, whether they are hacking it, whether they get somebody you know that gets your password. Unfortunately, I just don't know. Unfortunately, there's just no way to know for sure how they got access to your account, but it happens. So one of the first ones I saw, and this is probably the nastiest one, and I saw this for the first time last night. Somebody had hacked a uh, client of mine's Google search console somehow, and what they had done was come in here to uh, removals. And what, you, what this tool does is if there is a URL on your website that you no longer want in Google, you can put it in here and suggest to Google that they remove it from their search. There are a number of reasons why you would want to do that. Maybe your website itself got hacked and they put some objectionable content on there and you've removed those pages, but they're still showing up in search. That's one, one example of when you would use this. But what these nasty people were doing was coming in and putting in a new request. And this is just a demo site that I use for this sort of thing. Uh, and they would literally put that in and then submit that the entire thing. So basically, the entire website got removed from Google, at, apparently at the owner's own request. So you can see how that was pretty nasty. The client messaged me and he had noticed that his website had dropped completely out of Google and was gone. So that's what they did. And unfortunately, there's I don't know if this sends a uh, notification or not. I don't think it did or it does. Or if it does, I don't know that it does and because I don't think he got one. But so this is something you're just going to have to monitor. So if one day you wake up and you find that your website, all the rankings are gone and it's not being indexed in Google, meaning if you go up here and go, like that and it doesn't show any results, that mean that would be, now that doesn't mean that is what this is, but this is one of the first things you would check to see if somebody's gotten into your Google search console and removed your website from Google. As you can see, that's just a nasty thing. Now, if that happens, what you can do, there will be a button, it'll show over here that it's pending and there will be a series of three buttons you can click and one of the options will be cancel request. So you'll just cancel that request and then you'll just come up, once it's can successfully canceled, you'll come up here, you'll inspect the URL. and then you'll request indexing, and that should fix it. If not, then you, there are other things you can do. You may have to contact them or something like that, but that one is nasty, but it's relatively easy to fix. So if you wake up one day and your website is no longer in Google, like it's not indexed at all, that's the first thing I suggest you check. The next hack that I saw them doing, and there were two different versions of this, so I'm really gonna show it as one, but if you come to settings, and you go to ownership verification. 
and you go to users and permissions, you will see everyone that has permission to access Google Search Console on your website. Now, what some people would do is they would find a way to get into Google Search Console and maybe even into your website and add themselves as an owner. Now, they can't remove you, but they can add themselves as an owner. And that way they have the ability to do, to do anything they want in Google Search Console, whether it's remove your site, whether they want to see your stats, whatever they want to do, they can do it in here. And then they will have ownership to do that. So that one's really nasty. And I've seen two different versions of that lately. And they, are, they work basically the same. And what you have to do when that happens is this. <clears throat> And then you're going to find your the website that you're working with in, in this list. So on this one, I will go ahead and click there. What you'll see here is a record of people that are verified owners of your site. So what you have to do there, you, first of all, you can click on it and see the verification details and it'll show you how you did it. So in this case, I used a DNX text record, which is probably the safest one to do. But then what you would do if it was somebody who shouldn't be there is click unverify. Now, I don't want to do that because I don't want to unverify myself as the owner, but that's kind of what you would do. You would click unverify. Sometimes it may make you actually go in and undo the verification, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know what the difference is. And I told you that there were two different ways I've seen it, and that was kind of the difference between them. But then you would click unverify, and then you would come back over here and you can, I can't do it because I'm the only owner, but you would just click remove remove owner and that would remove that person. But you can't do that without first doing this. So that's the other way you can get rid of them from doing it. Now, <clears throat> that those are kind of the main ones I've seen. And like I say, they that's pretty nasty. I don't get why people feel the need to do things like that, but I guess it's good that I don't get it. Um, there's not a ton that you can do to truly, truly prevent something like this, but some things you can do are obviously to make sure you have a super complicated password. What I like to do is use strongpasswordgenerator.com and then just make it as complicated as possible. And then use something like, I mean, I know they've had their issues lately, but you can use a password manager like LastPass or whatever to store it because obviously you're not going to remember that. Well, you know, Because obviously you're not going to remember that. And then the other thing you can do is turn on some form of two-factor authentication for your Google account. So anytime you log in, somebody has to use Google Authenticator or a text message or some other method to verify that it's them. That's another way you can do it. And then you should also have an, as many notifications turned on as you possibly can for your Google Search Console. I'm not 100% sure where to do that in here, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, here we go, email preferences. Make sure that all emails are enabled as opposed to whatever. So just make sure that you have as many of those as enabled as possible and that you watch them. I know that some people get triggered by getting emails and notifications, but that's how I caught it when somebody did the change of ownership one to one of mine. And it's important to monitor those. And so, And then of course what you can do is check just check it out every day and make sure everything is okay and soon and soon the get more stuff done dashboard will have some google will have a google search console integration as well and that will um give you another way you can look at it so you'll be able to log in here and see various things from google search console as well as all the other great things this does your page speed, your overall legit score, your Google Analytics, your uptime monitor, your to-do list, your on-page SEO audit, your keywords, your backlink information, some suggestions, project management, and all the other cool things that this does for you. So soon you'll be able to have additional security by seeing here. If it gets disconnected, then the data will stop showing up there as well. So that's another thing that's not quite ready just yet, but will be hopefully in the coming days and weeks. But please be aware of this. Don't let this happen to you. Uh, there are nasty people out there. There really are. It's unfortunate. I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. So if you, uh, so take the steps, make sure this doesn't happen to you, secure your website. And if you need any help, if you don't know how to do this, or if you need help doing it, or if you want anything like that, you can always message our support team and we'll get somebody to help you with that and we'll help you out. So thanks a lot for watching this guys. Be safe out there. If you need anything legit is here for you to help you get more stuff done. 
I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great one.